to another extreme shoe video here on my channel because I have two pairs of extreme high heels, ballet boots and pony boots and I'm going to try and walk in both of them. I think that these ones are going to be okay but I'm totally scared about these ones <laughs> but we'll see. I think I'll start with these. So both of them are from the brand called Jalloway and I customized the color. I said I want this part golden <laughs> and the rest black. Super handy with a zipper of course. I think I'm not going to wear shoes without zippers anymore. And here we have the second one. I wear a size 40 again. And so far so good. <laughs> Yay! To be honest, uh, it's not my first time in pony boots anymore, so I'm a bit used to it by now. The trick is to stay in motion and keep walking because when you are standing still, you have to balance yourself out on the hoops. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think they look really cool, like really futuristic and they're definitely an eye catcher. Although I would not wear them for a whole night or longer than a few minutes, I don't know. <laughs> it is exhausting because you have to watch what you're doing all the time. And oops. <laughs> and walk on your tippy toes, so to say, because no heel. Yeah. So, foot massage afterwards would be nice. <laughs> Sitting is fine, of course. <laughs> and I think, yeah, they look just really cool. Packed them with some leather pants and a cool top. And this is like a look I would wear for photo shoots or just to show them off. <laughs> Since this was rather easy, I think let's go over to the fail part of the video because uh, I have ballet heels still and I guess it'll be not that easy. Yeah, but I'll see. After my last failed attempt with like almost ballet heels because they were a bit different but a lot of you wrote in the comments that I should get some silicone toe pads. That's what ballet dancers do and so here we are. I think they're a bit gross <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> and I didn't try them on so far um, and I hope I can get into the shoes when I'm wearing them. You. <laughs> Slimy. I think I'm going to wear them on top of my socks. <laughs> I'm not convinced. Oh, by the way, you can add uh, little padlocks to the shoes, the ones before as well. Uh, but I'm going to focus on the shoe and standing in them at the moment and not locking me up in them on top of that. <laughs> okay, that went better than expected. With the toe pad. I don't know if this is a good or a bad sign. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I mean, can I not just 
sit here and look like that because that looks really cool. Uh, no. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Ouch. <laughs> oh god. This feels so unnatural. Ouch, my toes are hurting. <laughs> And me this is it <laughs> like I have no desire to practice that why would I <sighs> but they look great don't they <sighs> at least I give them that oh here's the lock it's really, really small tiny lock and tiny heat now this is the locked version. I can already say I'm no fan of them because I can't walk in them. So uh, I would just have to sit here and starve to death or something like that. <laughs> and the lock is not silver. <laughs> I mean, come on. So no lock for me. I hope you give me the credit that I tried. <laughs> And I hope you understand that I'm not going to feature ballet heels again because it's just not working, even with toe pads. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video nevertheless and uh, you yeah, have fun with me here. Thanks to Jellowai for sending these over. And if you're interested in these kind of shoes, check out their store. I'll link it in the description text because they have a lot of crazy heels and crazy shoes these are just a small part of their range <laughs> i'm going to go and find some ice for my toes <laughs> see you next time bye <laughs>